5.30. Little guy decided to get up at 5.30 this morning. My husband had to leave to go out of town, so we've been up hanging out. It's been dark outside. It just started getting light. Um, my kids just left for school. I've eaten. Baby's eaten. Been changed. Now he's playing with his toys. We're just kind of hanging out this morning. Um, I made a funny little reel on Instagram. <laughs> I'm learning how to do that, and some of them are really fun. Um, and it's really just like a quick way to like get some creativity out. So I've been really enjoying those. I'm I'm I'm, I'm like worried that I might be slightly annoying with them because I do them every few days or whatever. But it's so much fun. Um, I love anything that I can. He's talking. Be creative with. What are you talking about, hun? Couldn't reach his toy. <laughs> Did you have a nice nap? And now you're up and you're dressed for the day. Yes, see, I'm dressed in another footed pajamas, but it's different clothes because I'm not in pajamas, but I'm in pajamas, it's okay. Yeah, yes, did you have a good sleep? Yeah, you had a nice little nap and now you're gonna play? Yeah. Visiting with Sammy and Brenda Fire. Let's let Sammy sleep, okay? I knew today would be kind of an adjustment day. Like we just needed to chill today because yesterday was such a big day and we were out for a really long time and he was overtired and I just knew that today was gonna be like just we needed a chill, relaxed day. So we're just hanging out. He's been fed a couple times. He's been changed a couple times. You're gonna hit your head on that, Buzz. Hold on, I can't get my finger back. Yeah, you're gonna hit your head on that. We should move that. Yeah, that whole thing. You're trying to pick up. I don't think you're strong enough for that. <laughs> Maybe you are. Maybe I shouldn't put limits on you. You got it? That's pretty big. Go knock yourself in the noggin. You are. He's definitely trying to like test strength and see his limits of what he can and cannot do like he loves trying to pick big, like things up <laughs> that's one of his favorite things it's kind of a strong guy what we need to get that key pie he's so funny but i'm tired we're trying to adjust today just found out <sighs> it's gonna be such a busy week oh my goodness um I have to get a video ready for next week. I need to, um, my son has a wrestling match at, at home, his home school, a home game. Um, so that's on Wednesday. The kids have early dismissal on Wednesday. And then I think my daughter has her band concert on Thursday night. Night stuff is hard, especially solo because like I said, he likes to go to bed at like 6.30 every night. But I'm going to attempt to do that. But I also don't want to bring my baby who might disrupt things. Like the concert especially. I don't want to bring him for him to disrupt the experience for everyone else. Um, if he gets fussy or whatever. The, the match is just going to be loud and noisy and a lot of screaming. So he'll just be screaming along with everyone else if he gets fussy and I can just leave, you know. With the concert, I'm nervous about because it's a quiet thing. You gotta sit there quietly. I mean, he could sleep the whole time. I don't know. I just don't know. And and it's something I gotta do by myself. So we'll see. I might just not get to go, which bums me out. But they are limiting people how many people can go, and they are doing a virtual thing for the concert. So. I've never missed the concert though, so I don't know what to do. I'm probably gonna try and go and then just have to dip out if if he gets messy. He might be an angel, I don't know. We've never done like nighttime stuff. All right guys, I don't want you to judge me, okay? This is what happens when you buy things as you go and then you forget about what you bought. 
so this is what I'm getting baby Malcolm for Christmas this year um, and I'm glad I kind of took everything out because now I'm like I really need to stop buying clothes um, I think I went really sensible as far as toys go but clothes I went a little crazy so actually um I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and give him a couple of these clothes um, already because he he needs them and I'm not wrapping all of these because this is a lot to wrap but I just want to show you all the new clothes that he's gotten um, and his toys so I'm gonna do a big overview and I'm gonna go through and kind of tell you what everything is so Gigi is literally going to be the death of I'm gonna start with the toys because that's more fun so I got him these soft little blocks that he can learn how to build with um i think they're really cute they're soft they're in good colors um the more research i've done about kids and stuff um i love bright colors and primary colors and black and white and stimulating colors the more that i've done the research the softer pastel like less saturated colors are better for them so they don't get overstimulated and like wham 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 like I'm all for color in a baby in like a kid's room I don't want all neutrals or just bland but the softer colors are apparently better for them I don't know tell me if I'm wrong um but that's what the research is saying so I'm not anti-color or trying to like fit an aesthetic or anything like like a theme it's just I've been doing research and and just kind of taking my own conclusions anyway that being said, look at this thing. <laughs> this thing is really cool. Um, I think he's really gonna love it. It's It's got texture, it's got color, it's got noise, it's got a mirror. Like, I really think he's gonna really like throwing this thing around. This is actually something I saw on Instagram where they put the, um, use their Cricut to put the baby's like name on one ear and then his birth stats on the other ear and I thought that'd be really cute. Um, so I got it. It probably would have been cuter as like a first birthday gift type of thing or like a baby shower. I don't know, meeting the baby for the first time, but I'm going to make it. Um, I got this Melissa and Doug wooden um, like barn animal set. I think he'll really like that. This is my favorite. He's actually already seen this because I opened it up and he was obsessed with it already. Um, it's just the Rainmaker. I got it from Etsy and you just do this and you work the ball through and it makes a lot of noise and you roll it around and he is already obsessed with that. Um, this I also got from Etsy. It's just natural stacking blocks. Um, and then I got him, this sorry, I was running out of um, storage. So I got him this name puzzle and it says happy Merry Christmas 2021 on the back and I love it. You can use that and it's cute. So we also got him this John Deere like push tractor thing. He can sit on and scoot. Yeah, obviously he's small for it. Um, but I wanted something that he could kind of push along and move and kind of grow into until his birthday, which is in July. So he's got a long time between um, Christmas and July before he can get like bigger presents like this. And I'll link whatever I got on Amazon down below and I'll try and link the Etsy listings as well if I can and I got him two new books if animals kiss goodnight and then love makes a family so um, I just wanted to get a couple like good good feel-good books and here is all the <laughs> outfits so I went kind of crazy at Carter's I got an Oshkosh I got um, two overall sets and then I got two individual overalls brown corduroy and this like train conductor material I've shown some of these on Instagram already and then I also um, got some long sleeve onesies from Walmart and some pants to match and I found this at Walmart long sleeve onesies um, and then I got a pack of long sleeve onesies off of Amazon and then a pack of long sleeve onesies and fleecy pants from um, Carter's and then I also got another bag of pants from Carter's like I don't know I kept forgetting what I was buying and I just went into a frenzy and then I got all of these fleece pajamas which he desperately needs especially since honestly it's gonna be cold until pretty much May so these are gonna last him a very very long time I like to have options and I like to be able to have a backup in case we have like 
blowouts or just, you know, normal baby stuff. Um, and then I got him just a regular, just like sleep and play. Um, and then these are rompers, footless rompers. And then these are all outfits. So he has like a little dinosaur hooded outfit. And then he has like a little um, woodland wolf hooded out like sweatsuit and then this little cute little vest with some planets on it um and some pants and then I love this outfit I think it's so cute it's like a nice um fleecy vest and some pants so this kid is definitely going to be set for clothes hopefully after this for quite a while at least until we can transition to summer So we just had another outfit change because he was fussing. He really wanted his feet out. <laughs> He's at this stage where he likes grabbing his feet and touching like skin and stuff. So it's really warm in here. I've had the fire on. It's, it, it's out now, but I had the fire on all day pretty much. So now he can have some leg free time. I was like wondering why he was so fussy and like, what are you fussing about, kid? And then when I went to change his diaper, he was like, oh, my feet, my feet, my toesies are out. So he's going to have just some onesie time for a little while and see if that makes him happier, which he's already, he's already happy. His feet can touch everything. Yesterday was such a big day. Um, I think today was just a little rough day, a little adjustment for me and for Malcolm. Um, whenever we do anything, like the next day is totally shot. Like he's kind of like me, he gets fun poisoning. So today he just needed a lot of mommy cuddles, a lot of like one on one attention. Sammy snoring. Um, and he fought this last nap for so long. I just couldn't get him to settle and he was just uncomfortable and just tired and I tried laying on the floor with him, I tried putting him in his crib, I tried rocking him, but literally nothing worked. Finally, obviously something worked. I sang to him, which I can't sing, but I guess my voice soothed him. Um, and I gotta go pick up my daughter from school. My son is doing wrestling until 5 o'clock every single day. Um, or beyond depending on if he has tournaments or whatever um but so i have to pick up my daughter from school at 2 45 every day so it's almost time for that i think i'm going to do taco monday today um i have stuff to do the tacos and i think i'm just going to make them tonight that way we can eat them tonight tomorrow and then wednesday maybe even that way i cook once and it's good for a couple days that's literally how i've been living my life lately um so i'm gonna do that tonight um i have a video i need to edit and get get ready um and then i need to like film tomorrow for my video so i'm gonna try and vlog and then also film usually when i'm filming um i try to do it when he naps so or like is occupied for a little bit like happily occupied so we're gonna see how that's gonna go <sighs> I'm going to bed early tonight because I'm, I'm just exhausted. I'm mentally exhausted. Um, when he has hard days, it's hard on me and I'm just like checked out. By the time he goes to bed, I'm checked out at night. I'm like so exhausted. So anyway, I'm going to get a couple more baby snuggles and then we got to pack up and go pick up my daughter. We're also trying to work on sitting, but he never wants to sit still long enough to actually sit still he wants to be on the go so the mirror definitely helps when we're when we're trying to work on sitting because he loves to look at himself don't you don't you don't you love to look at yourself handsome baby handsome baby oh yep see oh good recovery good recovery are you ready for night night 
Are you ready for night night time? You had your bath and your jammies on. Are you ready, fella? You look ready. We read our story. Now it's time to have something to drink, a little nightcap, and night night time. Night night time, yay! I cannot even tell you how exhausted I am. What a day. We got up at 5.30. This morning it was been go go go. We took like three small 30 minute naps and he was just not feeling it today. So it's been a long day. So we got our bath. Fed, he's in bed. It is uh it is actually 6 32. So he just went down, he is asleep. I'm going to edit this vlog. I'm going to make sure my video, my Tuesday video for my main channel is ready to go and um, go to bed early. Sorry, I went off on a like ramble there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you tomorrow for another crazy vlogmas.